2018, which at the time was the highest in six years. Disorderly conduct. Not have. Now, here's the principle. You give out of what you have. Now we're going to start to see gradually the water levels rise, but look at the visibility. I mean, we're talking about a quarter to a half of a mile. Not much to see for my radio listeners uh, at the moment. Thank you much. Uh, thank you so much, Greg. You can see him panning around, showing all the palm trees whipping around left and right. Wind gusts over 100 miles an hour, certainly possible. As we also do have water level rise and we're starting to see that increase in Charlotte County, but we're also starting to see it. It's at least 10 feet away from power lines. Remember, there may be danger after the storm. If you're planning on using a generator, keep it outside and away from open windows. Never operate it indoors. Stay away from downed power lines, flooded areas, and debris. Use the FPL mobile app to report a fallen wire and call 911 immediately if you feel there is an imminent danger. For a complete list of storm safety tips, go to FPL.com. And to text message updates after the storm, text the word JOIN to MyFPL. That's J-O-I-N to 69375. Hi, I'm Julie Marcus, Pinellas County Supervisor of Elections. Are you election ready? Go to VotePinellas.gov to check your registration. We can do this. Find updated COVID vaccines at vaccines.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. I absolutely love my dog. Only what we have right now. Still just light to moderate rain. Heavy rain at times for parts of Benita, but it's the southerly winds that are problematic uh, for Marco, the rain is over, but the storm surge will continue with those southerly winds until it gets a little bit farther to the north. Uh, if we can go back to that Naples image, or if we have that, let's go back to the Naples video right now. That it's going to only get a little bit higher. And I think, Rob, you said that the high tide in Naples is afternoon. My girl just caught me into the evening as Chris and Lois we are getting very close to landfall for North Captiva with literally within the next 15 to 30 minutes. All right thank you very much Matt and we're going to go just south of there to Punta Rasa. We want to show you some video that has just come in uh, looking toward Sanibel so that uh, we can show you what people are seeing there along Punta Rasa. This oh, gives wow. you a real idea of how high that mm -hmm. water has risen, the surge just devastating to this part of the mainland side of the Sanibel Causeway. And take a look, uh, some of that um, may be, this is from the Marriott Hotel, looks like some of that CCF in Port Charlotte, Ken Lovejoy is on as you guys are, you are really under the gun right now. It looks like you are having some really severe weather there right now. Ken, what's it looking like? Well, uh, we're getting a steady 46. It looks like gusts. I'm looking at my boss's window right now, and it looks like gusts through the parking lot got to be hitting 80, 85. Uh, wow. It's, it's pretty bad. This is, uh, we've, this building was being built out when Charlie hit at our old studios back in 2004 and wasted those studios. We've ridden out several. We rode out Irma here. This kind of the building, the way it shakes and squeaks, feels like Irma. But when you look out the window, it's uh, definitely, definitely worse. Now, at the station where you are right now, you guys obviously have emergency power. You have generators and stuff like that. It looks like most of the power is out around you down that way as I'm looking at the power maps with FPL. Um, as, as far you guys, are you going to be able to, to hunker down there and stay at the building? Does this, at this point, it's pretty much you're locked in. Uh, I've been at the building since last night. I ran home uh, at around 11 o'clock this morning just to grab a quick shower and some uh, uh, extra clothes and then came back here. So, yeah, we're hunkered down. But we've only had, uh, we're not up on the generator just yet. We've only lost power for just like a quick 5, 10 seconds when it came right back on. So we've been wow. very lucky in that regard. That's amazing. You know, we're hoping to see a little bit more of that as, as time goes on. Laura, go right ahead. No, I was just thinking, you know, to think that you haven't lost power is sort of mind-blowing to me because yeah. we're hearing you know big rig earlier was talking about st pete you know tens of thousands of folks in st pete without power and yeah. there you are in the four yeah, myers really area just sitting uh, pretty uh, 
it truly is. And, and we're, we just started now, again, I'm in my boss's office and looking out the window, the gusts really just started. And he's one of the hurricane hunters. I actually met him personally a few years back. Uh, I mean, these are brave guys that fly through these hurricanes. He's been flying for six years, and he says, that, and he flew overnight into a night storm. And we've been talking about the amount of lightning uh, that the storm continues to have, but also did have, and that's always a sign of intensity of this hurricane and he posted a picture that i'll try to get up in a little bit but it was a little bit light it looks like it was light and he said for the past six years danny day in and day out during hurricane season that is uh and he said he's never seen a more powerful eye so uh it was just barely category five just, i mean you know two miles per hour that's just kind of a uh, not much of a difference there but this continues well, we still have that lightning continuing the good news uh, Nation and right now here is Thrice Scavengers. Oh, I so uh, it was just barely. Ca I, I mean, you know, two miles per hour. That's just kind of a uh, not much of a difference there. But this continues, Rob. We still have that lightning continuing. The good news. Uh, okay, here's a little slither of good news. Not as much lightning on the southwest part of the eye. Maybe we're starting to see this. Hopefully, weaken. A, a little bit, not much though. If, if I may, since we're talking about this uh, storm surge event in progress right now, I wanted to focus on the parts of Fort Myers in the beginning, and then I'll send things over to my colleague John Patrick over at ABC7. So what I wanted to do here is I'm going to take this uh, clicker yeah. just for a second, Ellie. If we could go out to Doppler 2 graphics uh, here at the weather wall, the storm surge event that you see unfolding right now in the city of Naples, northward up and along the coast of Collier, Eventually going to overspread areas of western Collier or western Lee County. This includes the storm surge risk that will be going up in areas like Fort Myers Beach, Cape Coral, and Fort because Island, Sanibel Island, and Captiva. We've just done analysis on the 100 plus mile per hour winds that are on the northern side of the eye wall moving across Charlotte Harbor. But for the areas in Lee County here, the storm surge event is only going to go up from here. This is a look at how the water levels have been changing in the city of Fort Myers. And notice again, blue is where the water levels tend to be. Now, is the eye south of you where you are? It's it, just a bit. It's just to the south. The wall, the eye wall is kind of up on it. In fact, when I look up in the sky, I can I can see it lighter uh, uh, as I look to the south uh, west. So yeah, it is. Uh, it's common. What's going to be really impressive, and I remember it from Irma. I, I think it was Irma. Maybe it wasn't. But one of our storms, there were people who walked outside to take the shot of the eye wall as it passed yeah. over, and just yeah. it just looks like this monstrous Roman Colosseum of white clouds. It's it, it it's like nothing I, I can ever imagine seeing before my very eyes. So, so pictures quiet. is the only way. Yeah, and quiet. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Because right now, if I open, if I go to the front door and open, it sounds like a freight train run running through. Wow. That's wow. never. I mean, those of us who've lived through tornadoes before, you know that sound all too well, and it usually lasts a couple of minutes, not hours upon hours. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. Ken, thank you so much for your time, my friend. We yes, wish you safety you, and everything. And, uh, and hold, I'm, I'm sure we're going to check in back, back in with you again at some point. But uh, thank you so Let's much for taking the time. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. We are providing coverage on this coast uh, all throughout the, the country on our iHeart Radio app. We have people listening all around the world who have family members here who are just trying to figure out what's going on. You know, one of those things definitely, uh, and I know Laura will agree with this too, is just you may not hear from your family members for a bit because of the, the outages, but one of the things I'm int intrigued to see how it works is now that we have these large 5G networks with those ultra-small towers that are everywhere, um, I know a lot of them don't have generators, so they're power-reliant, but it'll be interesting if that helps with our service. Have you had any kind of like cell outages or anything weird on your phone? You know, nothing weird, nothing out of the normal of weird, frustrating <laughs> cell problems. That we have. You know, just a Tuesday where you're like, oh, why is my cell phone service not working? Making sure that people that uh, did not evacuate and are there are going to get it, uh, get them. And I think we have it. We might have the video soon of this video coming in. I just that piece of information. 
they do when they issue those evacuations. The winds pick up. It's so dangerous. There's no way for those rescue 911 the EMS. There's no way for them to get to you, but they are on boat traveling and find people that need to find help. Okay, so we're going to pull this up. Momentarily, I think you just have to download it there. Internet's down. Oh, our internet is having a little trouble kind of keeping up with all the information coming on in. I believe that Comcast is having some issues at the moment. We're doing our best to get this video to you. But, uh, it's telling to share. We're seeing evidence now. Water rescues. Water people. Rescue. And rescuing people in the neighborhood in the area. And Kelly, you've had kind of your, your hand talking to everybody. Oh, Adrian, microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can kind of 